Hello YouTube. Today we're going to have a look at air-to-air -air refueling in FSX. We're going to see what uh, the basic capability uh, is out of the box. We'll then look at the freeware add-ons we can get and some of the payware add-ons. Here we'll just look at a, a video of the real thing just to get an idea of the speed at which things happen, um, the processes involved, how the uh, aircraft approach the tanker, the kinds of um, refueling droves that are available. This is a flying boom. But in FSX we'll principally be using the probe and the drogue. Yeah, so that gives you an idea of what's involved for real. Here we're looking at the um, out-of-the-box capability of FSX. And this involves going to one of the missions, the carrier practice. The carrier practice mission. And here we ignore doing the circuits to the carrier and we just bore up straight ahead to about 17,000 feet and then the magic marker up on the top left there will now indicate that a tanker is available and it will show us the direction to go for the tanker. See that it's uh, constantly moving to the left so it's flying right to left So now we start to um, do our approach we have identified, got a visual on the tanker and now we close in on the tanker so in other missions you won't have this magic marker up at the top left there so you're going to have to find some other way of identifying and locating your uh, tanker. Initially it can be a bit uh, daunting trying to formate on your tanker and it does take a bit of practice. In this particular mission, um, there is no drogue. You simply approach the aircraft, stay in close formation with it, and fuel will then transfer. So what do we need for air-to-air -air refueling? Obviously we need a tanker aircraft, we need a means of locating that tanker, and we need some sort of gauge to monitor. Here's a, a freeware tanker, a KC-135. Um, there's also an A330 available at these locations. And that's a view of the um, A330. So launching and locating the tanker. There are some tools we can use, the formation tool, the uh, AI flight planning tool, the flight sim recorder tool, and then there's a gauge tool we can also use. So let's have a look at the um, AI formation tool first of all. Look, uh, available from Flyaway Simulations there. So here we are in FSX about to uh, try it out. We're at um, RF Valley on runway 32 flying a super bug. Now I'm just moving the, the bug otherwise the tanker will sit on top of us using the slew feature Y key to drag us back out of the way. We then um, shrink FSX, go to the uh, formation setup tool, choose our aircraft obviously you must have already downloaded the tanker, fix the airspeed 
the distance that you want it to fly on legs if it's doing a racetrack, and the height. It'll only go up to 5,000. Then you connect to FSX, back into the flight sim, and you have to go to your add-on menu item to AI formation and add that particular formation. Formation will appear on the runway. You then have to go back into the add-ons and start the formation. And off you'll go. You can have formations of up to four aircraft. So the tanker goes on its way. So it's no real problem for us to simply tag along and then practice our approaches and our refueling. Here we're using the um, VRS Superbug. Very nice model. over Anglesey. So the tank is just ahead of us, no problem locating it. Got a master caution indicator because of our low fuel state. And then we simply have to formate on the tanker. Try and get into the right position for attaching to the drogue. As you can see, a lot of bouncing around. We really need to make use of the autopilot features that are available to us in this particular study sim. So normally we would use the flight path attitude hold to steady things up for us and make things easier. The AI Flight Planner is available from this location and the Flight Sim Recorder that we can use is available from here. Both are freeware. Now there is a, an in-flight refueling gauge you can download that is quite a, a, a nifty piece of kit. So that's the location for it. And what it does is it provides you with this box in the uh, center left there showing um, the traffic that's available. Um, you identify the one you're interested in, then it'll give you the information on um, the bearing, the height, uh, the distance from you and the speed it's going at. So let's just have a, a look at that. What I've done is I've loaded that particular gauge into um, this uh, Typhoon aircraft here. Just like Typhoon. My tanker has gone off ahead of me as um, a recorded flight. You can see bottom right, the playback is um, unfolding there. I bring up the, the gauge with shift 9. I can then identify the tanker and get the bearing information for it and that will simplify my job of um, hooking up with the tanker. You can see my fuel in this instance is down to 38%. So I now visually identify the tanker and start my approach. Now there are some payware add-ons you can use um, for air-to-air -air refueling, like this Milvis um, F-15, and they do have the AAR capability um, out of the box for them. And here's a bit of blurb telling you uh, how to use 
that capability. Uh, the other one is the um, FA18, the superbug that I showed you earlier there, that also has quite a sophisticated AAR capability. Here we're just seeing it in action now. So we deploy our probe. Notice uh, on the green console there that um, we do have the autopilot feature on. So we've got uh, flight path attitude hold which is making things nice and steady for us here. So it's simply a question now of juggling the throttle to make a very steady approach to the drogue. And when you're within parameters, you will see that the fuel will flow. The indication will be on the DDI on the right there. So once we're in contact, you'll start to see fuel flowing into the bug. There, we've got contact and positive fuel flow now. So it can be quite a challenge getting air to air refueling right. Okay, now below for Elite 81. And we're back looking at the real thing again. It's time for tornado. Over Afghanistan. British aircraft, so it uses the probe and the drogue rather than the flying boom. Air to air refueling only done by the military because there is a degree of risk involved. In 1966, there was an incident where a B-52 bomber collided with a KC-135 tanker, and uh, they were both destroyed. Palomares incident. So, live video was by um, 67 Fighter Squadron and 911 Air Refueling Squadron, courtesy of Airboy TV. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.